वेलकम टू द इमरान एकेडमी आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू जनरल मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ टेंथ क्लास पंजाब टेक्स्ट बुक बोर्ड लाहौर एंड द यूनिट दैट आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू इज सिक्स मैट्रिस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स and the exercise is 6.3 question number 9 if <clears throat> a equals a b c d then what is the additive inverse of a solution <clears throat> the additive inverse of a is minus a just changing the signs of the entries will produce the additive inverse of the matrix a so this is the answer <clears throat> let's move to the next question question number given that a equals one two minus one three <coughs> then verify that a square minus 4a <coughs> plus 5i is equal to 0 okay taking left hand side that is a square minus 4a plus 5i <coughs> and putting the values 1 minus 1 2 and 3 squared minus 4 into 1 minus 1 2 and 3 plus 5 into identity matrix is 1 0 0 1 mm, and let's do it in 
a new window. So, the square matrix 1 minus 1, 2 and 3 and that was squared minus 4 into 1 minus 1, 2 and 3 plus 5 into identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. In this square matrix can be written as and now I am multiplying the this matrix by 4, 4 ones are 4, negative 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12. Similarly, 5 1s are 5, 5 0s are 0, 5 0s are 0, 5 1s are 5. <coughs> and here we have a scalar multiplication, uh, sorry, mat matrices multiplication. So, how can we do that? I uh, will multiply this column by this number that is uh, 1 multiplied by 1 and 2 multiplied by 1. Then I will use the plus sign and I will use the second column, this whole column and I will multiply it with the second digit of the first column. again <coughs> applying the same technique taking the first column as it is and multiplying it with the first element of the second column. Similarly taking the second column the whole column and multiplying it with the second digit of second column. <coughs> you can also combine these if you want or uh, so let us combine these as well or you can just write these two matrices as it is in the next step I will try to add these as well. So, these are 5 0 0 5. So, I have just here we have a plus sign. Okay. So, 1 1s are 1, 2 1s are 2, plus minus minus 2 1s are 1, 2s are 2, 2 3s are 6, negative 1, negative 3, negative 2 and 3 3s are 9. Minus 4, minus, I am just writing these and in the last step I will combine all of these. Okay. Now, let us move forward. This will be negative 1, negative 4, 8 and 7. Four, negative 4, 8 and 12. plus 5, 0, 0 and 5. Now, combining all the entries, negative 1, negative 4, plus 5. These are the corresponding entries. So, I have just combined these. Now, combining the next one, 
negative 4 negative and negative 4 plus 0 then I have 8 negative 8 plus 0 then I have this 7 negative 12 plus 5 No combining these and just writing the answer. This is zero, this is zero, zero, and zero. So it is a null matrix or the zero matrix. which is the right hand side hence proved let's move quickly to the next question the next question is question number 11 if a equals 2 4 1 and 5 and b equals 3 minus 2 4 6 verify then verify that A plus B transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. Okay, let's start this one. A plus B whole transpose equals A transpose plus B transpose taking left hand side A plus B whole transpose. Let's do this one first. So the values of A are Two, four, one, five plus B is three minus two, four and six. First of all, adding these, then taking it transpose. adding the corresponding entries five plus minus minus two four minus two is two and five and eleven now taking the transpose in transpose we can just change rows to columns or you can say that you have changed columns into rows so everything anything can be done but only the only one operation either change rows into columns or columns into rows now this is uh, your uh, right hand now taking right hand side the right hand side is a transpose plus B transpose. So let's find the transpose. So A is two four one five 
which transpose plus B is 